Welcome to Straits Times Car of the Year 2022. This is the 20th edition of the show. And with me here is Nian Jo. And since this is the 20th edition, we thought we'd take the first car that ever won out. This is the Volvo XC90. It won in 2003. It's the first seven-seat SUV in the world. Over the years, we've had other notable winners, including the Audi R8, Audi's first supercar, and Jaguar's I-Pace, the first electric car from Jaguar. In fact, the first couple of uh, winners in the recent years were all electric. Yes, times have changed. And out of the 10 contenders this year, Six of them are electric and another two are hybrids. Can you also tell me a bit, like, actually, how do you even come to this shortlist? Like, you know, the criteria and what, what goes into the thinking? I'm glad you asked. This being the 20th edition, the judges felt that it was timely to fine-tune the scoring system. It included practicality in place of ergonomics. And together with practicality, we also upped the points for value for money to 10. So here we are, the top three contenders of the year. The Toyota BZ4X electric car, the Kia Niro Hybrid, and the Toyota Sienta Hybrid. Shall we take them out for a spin? Thought you wouldn't ask. Right, so I have one question. What is up with the name of this car? The Toyotas that I'm familiar with have names that I can pronounce. Corolla, Harrier, or Camry. This one reads as some kind of a barcode. Huh? And I found out that this is actually the first ground-up EV that Toyota is making. So my question then for you, is Toyota late to the party? Or are they perfectly timed for this EV race that we're in? Oh, uh, have you known that Toyota has been making electrified cars for 25 years? And in that time, it has sold 20 million electrified cars, saving the world close to 160 million tonnes in CO2. That's no mean feat, you know? So, is this then a very good EV or a very good car? I think it's both. It's one of the most drivable EVs around. Super smooth, super refined, the ride is excellent. And the most standout feature about it is its Lexus-like interior. It kind of makes the other cars in this price segment plasticky, cheap even. So the car feels expensive, huh? but then does it mean that we also have to be a bit concerned if things break, will it also be expensive to repair? That's a fair point. I think one of the most worrying things about EVs is battery health. This Toyota, however, comes with the most comprehensive battery warranty in the world. Okay. The Niro as a car may not have many standout features but it is a lot bigger than the last one, which means it is a lot more spacious inside. And that alone moves the bar. And well, the last one was already highly equipped, this car has even more features. I especially like the ventilated seats. Really handy in sunny Singapore. Well, I like the way it looks. I think compared to the outgoing model or the previous generation, this is so much more attractive. And I would say that it's probably the best looking car in the segment now. I agree. I mean, Kia design has been getting better and better over the years. This Nero is really sharp looking, inside and out. Now check out the infotainment screen. Hey Chris, thanks for letting me drive. Here we are in the Toyota Sienta Hybrid. And I think it drives okay, but if I'm honest, it's not the most exciting car we've ever seen on a car of the year shortlist. You're right. I think a lot of people are going to ask why a popular private hire car is even on the list. It's bound to be controversial. Mm. But you know, ST Motoring never shies away from controversy. We never shy away from the truth. And the truth is, this is a great car. It's chock full of thoughtful features. And within a small compact footprint, it's seat 7. It's got highly configurable seats. And everywhere you look and touch, you're never at a loss where to put your stuff. Most of all, it's highly efficient. How efficient? I mean, how long can I go before I need to refuel the car? Well, Toyota quotes 4 litres per 100 km. When I test drove the car, I had 4.2, which isn't very far. The Sienta has a 42 litre tank, which means I can cover 1,000 km on a full tank. 
that's more than three weeks worth of driving. And with prices rising everywhere today, that has come for a huge brownie point for the car. Hey Chris, thanks for letting me drive the cars. I think it's time for the main event. Let's do this. The winners in descending order. Third place with 273 points. The Kia Niro Hybrid. Second. 276 points, the Toyota BZ4X. And beating that by just one point, ladies and gentlemen, announcing the Straits Times Car of the Year 2022, the Toyota Sienta Hybrid. Now, ladies and gentlemen, at this point, we usually do this. You know what? This car can do something that most of the others cannot. It can carry a party of five and all their luggage. See you!